Let's kick ass. Alright, what's up guys? This is Cameron Gully, your HVOH driver, and I know it's been a while, but I've been having some computer issues, but I finally got them fixed. And today I'm going to explain why a gamepad will ben will really benefit you in Need for Speed World over the keyboard. So, let's just do a race to do some comparisons with. Gotta see what's up today. Let's do a construction around a single player. I'll start with the keyboard first. Hopefully they don't put me up against too tough a competition in this event. But I mean like with this track, it's a short, this track is a very fairly short track. You just gotta make sure you get your lines right and you are lucky with the civvies. This is the reason why I hate keyboards because you can't turn as well or anything. But I mean through there you just want to take the straightest line possible. Then just come around this corner. Just keep on the lookout for civvies everywhere you are. Because a civvy will really kill your time if you're doing ranking if you're doing times for rankings. Just pray that you land well on that jump right there. Whoa. Wasn't able to dodge that one in time. But it didn't slow me down as much. Okay, so we ran a 109.40 with the um, keyboard, 163 miles an hour. This thing was actually, I've actually tuned this thing up a bit more since y'all last saw it. And I've also hit level 60 as well. Good thing that I have. All right, now let's run another single player, but this time with the gamepad. I use a Logitech F310 gamepad. I did have an F510, but rumble feature pretty much killed it. I mean, it was all internal problems because it just shook the wire so much that it started fraying it out and breaking it. Just try not to hit those trees like he did at the start. And just try and keep the car off the curbs of the sidewalk because in an all-wheel drive car it will be a lot more difficult to dodge, I mean to um, control your car once you hit one of those. Again, just make the straightest line possible through there. Just hope I get as good of a time because I, even though I hit that civvy. Once again, one of the most annoying things about single player is that they hit you with traffic magnets at one after another. But we ran a 109.91, and that was even after I hit that civvy. If I wouldn't have hit that civvy, then that would have been a much faster time. Now, when you do get a gamepad, it will take some getting used to before you um, get really good at driving with it. But once you get used to the way it drives and the style, it will be a lot easier to race. I can You can count on that. So... I would say just take the investment in a gamepad, it will really help your times, and it will really help you get up there in the leaderboards. This has been Cameron Gully, your HVOA's driver, and I will see y'all later.